Elevation will soon be complete. of the memories of Queen Sphine of Alexandria, and my desire to protect my people transcends all others. If it were you, could you have found another way? With your strength, could you have held fast to that which is dear without sacrifice? Listen to me. There's something that I need to tell you. Is that concern or suspicion? <laughs> if things should take a turn for the worse, There's truly no other way to 
to resolve this. Then face me, not as a machine, but as the real you. Your voice reached me, Lamachi. Is it... Is it really you? No, only in part. My memories as a living person are gone. I've been remade from those I had as an endless. However, I cannot remain long, for the Meso Terminal will soon cease to function. Once, you wanted to know me, Lamachi. Let my last act be to give an honest accounting. I am, above all, sorry for the suffering I've caused your people and mine. against the inevitable, unable to do aught but visit harm upon the innocent. I am, in the end, a pitiful, selfish creature, one that should never have been created. Could have accomplished had we walked together towards a shared future. And yet, it could never be so. We each had our own to protect. Mm. If only I had met you when I was still alive, then perhaps. <laughs> but. It's no use dwelling upon a miracle that didn't happen. Still, if there's one thing I hope you'll believe, it is this. Brief though it was, I treasured our time together. It pains me to think that its memory will disappear along with me. I know I have no right to ask this of you, but... 
When I'm gone, my people, will you? We'll take care of them. Don't worry. And we will never forget the Endless. Neither them, nor the time we spent with you. So be free of your burdens, Sveen. And sleep well. Alexandria. So it was that the meso-terminal fell dark, and the Endless departed for Oblivion's embrace. Their resplendent paradise was no more, as the memory sustaining it faded with the golden light. Even so, in a way, they live on. At the crossroads standing here, not a this I felt with conviction as I basked in the glow of a new dawn.
remains to be seen how interdimensional fusion may have affected other reflections. Kyle's parents spoke of the power's capacity for both good and evil. I cannot help but wonder how Sveen's deeds will be remembered by those they touched. The key that started it all was entrusted to the adventurer. Such an artifact certainly lies within the science realm of expertise, and no objection was raised to their retaining it for research. By order of Vau Kona, the sky deep cenote was placed under the strict watch of the landscape. With the mighty Bakul Jaja among their number, they shall not want for strength, even in Soraljah's absence. of their queen's passing, the people of Alexandria mourned and wept. Having devoted herself to sparing them sorrow, the sight might well have moved Sveen to tears. However, with Wuklamat carrying on her legacy, I have faith that her subjects will know joy once more. As anticipated, the news that young Gululja had succeeded his father as king was greeted with trepidation. Reception was also mixed when Wuklama came forward to name herself as the boy's guardian. But the people were mollified to learn that Everkeep's systems remained operational and there would be no impact on their lives. One day, when he is older, Kalulja will decide for himself what manner of ruler he will be. Till that day and beyond, May the path of the young king be illuminated by the love of family.
everything had been resolved, though. Those who had spent 30 years in the dome struggled to resume their former lives. This and a host of other challenges remained. We haven't been able to talk properly. Oh, between the reconstruction work and Papa's funeral, I've hardly had time to breathe. But at long last, oh, there's a lull in my duties. You've done more for us than we could ever hope to repay. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. When we left the Orsia behind to take part in the contest, none of us could have predicted what complications would follow. You truly have a knack for finding trouble, my friend. And you wouldn't have it any other way. So what's next for you? Assuming you're still set on leaving the Gleaner's life behind? I'm off to fulfill my mother's dream, of course. Like she had intended, I'll embark on a journey in search of the unknown. She's sure to enjoy my stories when we meet again in the ethereal sea. Well, well, sounds like a plan. But will you have the coin to get by? I may no longer be a cleaner, but I still have contacts in Charlien. Contacts with deep pockets, always eager to pay for information on new or rare species. Hmm. You've got it all worked out. And what of you? Any new adventures in the offing? Regardless, until you're ready to leave, you're our guest here in Tulijola. And this time, I won't pester you to take up a post. By now, I know you well enough to know you can't stay in one place. No more than you can ignore the plight of those in need. Your path will always lead you elsewhere, and you'll continue walking it. Isn't that so? An adventurer to the marrow you are. What is it exactly that spurs you on? 